ships with their big diesel engines are among the world's worst polluters. But what are the alternatives? Well, one very clean and very old method of propulsion seems to be getting its second wind here in France. Let's take a look. You might think a cargo sailboat is something out of a history book, but this vessel is actually the result of years of cutting-edge research and development. French company Grand de Sel claims to have created the first modern sailboat that meets the merchant fleet requirements. We catch the ship in Dunkirk as the crew is getting ready for their next transatlantic crossing, which will take about three weeks. Before steam engines and fuel engines existed, all transportation was by sail, but we used modern methods when designing this ship to make it much more efficient. The company that makes chocolate and coffee from Latin America beans built their sailboats from scratch with sustainability in mind, like its specially designed 50-ton cargo hold with climate control powered by solar energy and wind. We showed it to be economically viable and we are ready to go even further into the future with perhaps a much larger fleet of boats, we hope. The company is now building a larger vessel and a new chocolate factory in Dunkirk. Embracing the winds to reduce emissions is a growing trend in the shipping industry. Maritime transport company Alize is building a hybrid ship equipped with mechanical wing sails to transport Ariane 6 rocket parts from Europe to the launch site in French Guiana. Another developer, Air Seas, suggests an automated kite system aiming to reduce fuel consumption and emissions of the ship by 10 to 40 percent. Passenger boats need to go fast and can't rely on wind. We went to Stavanger, known as the oil capital of Norway, to see a ferry that says goodbye to fossil fuels. The fast ferries are very energy demanding, transporting passengers at a high speed. And traditionally, these uh, vessels are uh, running on diesel uh, engines. And uh, what we are boarding now is our new fully electric uh, fast ferry. Celebrated as the ship of the year by Norwegian shipping magazine, Medstrom is the world's first 100% electrical high-speed ferry. The batteries, safely arranged above the deck, power two electrical motors. Start up, uh, down in the engine room and have a look. It doesn't even have fossil fuels as a backup. This small green uh, part is the um, electrical motor, which is a lot smaller than a comparable diesel engine would be. And you can also see the room is relatively clean, which is special to an electrical uh, engine room. So this is where we have our uh, energy stored, in total giving us 1,500 kilowatt hours of energy. A typical electrical car it would be between 70 and 90 kilowatt hours, so, so this is at least uh, 15 times uh, that uh, in this vessel. With this autonomy, the ferry can easily handle a 1.5-hour multi-stop commuter route between Stavanger and the nearby islands. It can carry 150 passengers and their bikes and offers a smooth, noiseless and sustainable ride. It's part of the public transport system and operates on the same schedule as the diesel-powered ferries. The limited battery charge doesn't seem to be an issue. The crew says piloting it is just like the old ferries, and the speed of over 25 knots keeps them right on schedule. When we use uh, electric uh, motors, it's much faster to start. It's like a car. It's no problem to be on time because we have the power and uh, the speed, so uh, it's easy. A lot of people who work in Stavanger live on nearby islands and before, they had to choose between slow ground transportation and fast, polluting vessels. But the new electric ferry is both fast and clean, so they don't have to make that choice anymore. This one is so quiet and you have the bigger windows and you can really enjoy the scenery. Yeah. You don't have that smell from the fuel 
And it's very nice to use the boat instead of bus and train because I would use three times as much time if I couldn't take the boat. This technology is going to be really helpful for meeting Norway's increasingly strict environmental regulations, which require all future ferries to be zero or low emission. The owners of the Maudström, the public transport company Columbus, are expected to greatly improve their carbon footprint by cutting emissions by 15 tonnes per year just with this one ferry. That's the equivalent of taking 60 buses off the road. So if we look at our CO2 emissions, they are dominated by some very few fast ferries and being able to electrify these and take away those emissions is a significant part of uh, becoming CO2 neutral in, uh, in the next couple of years. The Medstrom ferry was developed as part of a research project called the TRAM that was funded by the European Union. Scientists from Greece and Germany tested hundreds of models to find the most efficient shape for the hull. And the propulsion system, the propeller, rudder and other components was specifically optimised for this ferry. The engineers say it's performing even better than they expected, with a groundbreaking level of propulsion efficiency that saves almost 30% of energy compared to standard solutions. That's really important for a battery-powered vehicle. If we can twist just a few percent more efficiency, it means that the vessel can either go faster or it can go longer. So this is really a, a good project showing that we have the knowledge and competence to bring electric vessels to the market. To keep the weight as low as possible, the shipbuilders use aluminium structures, sometimes down to two millimetres thin. The overall design of the ferry is also innovative. It uses a modular approach that allows future vessels of this type to reuse the same elements, making them more cost-effective to design and produce. We uh, try to learn something about the modularity concept that are used in the car industry, in the airplane industry, and transfer that into the shipping uh, industry. Medstorm runs a dozen circular routes each day and plugs in for quick recharges between trips. But the best part is, all the electricity comes from renewable energy sources. So this new fast ferry is setting the course for replacing smoke-polluting boats with a true clean alternative.